What's up boys and girls? Time for today's longer game, so if you're sitting comfortably, we will begin. Okay, we've got the black pieces, and we are facing the English. Now, I know a thing against the English. Hmm. Now, I have played the Dutch against the English in the past. Um... But I don't know the Dutch very well. So that was completely wrong. So anyway, we're going with this. The Great Snake Variation. Well, bloody hell, I've never heard of this. Okay, so look, we are going to do this. I made a video yesterday on this kind of King's Indian defense style setup. That is what we've got. I'm going to go ahead and castle. All right, so. Let's have a look at this board. Currently, nobody is really contesting the center. White has the pawn on c4. My feeling is that d6 makes a lot of sense, preparing e5. Got a, uh, a knight of either color. I think this just looks good. My bishop might come out here. e5 might be played. Rookie 1 might be played. This is all just very sensible kind of stuff. Do we want to push this now? Will it prompt this? Do I care? Or should I just grab e5 while I have the chance? Seems to make sense. Hmm. So again, this seems to be the more natural place for my bishop to go. At the same time, it's a bishop. Bishops don't have to hurry to find their right place. If you don't have a good square for your bishop to go to, don't d don't develop for the sake of development, right? Um, I think knight c6 looks good. Not so sure about knight e7. It, knight c6 looks like a very, very natural move here. Mm hmm. Another idea is to put my bishop in front of my queen and then slide my bishop into here. If I do this and kicks, I can always retreat and do the same idea. Okay, I'm going to try, I'm going to see if I can just provoke him into h3. In which case, I think I'll just drop my bishop back, put my queen behind, and then threaten to take the pawn. He'll have to move his king to h2. All right. I'm not too bothered about this. You can take the knight if you need to, but otherwise I may move it. What do you think about knight here? Is that just silly? Is he going to do the same thing? Got the same idea, has not he? Drop bishop into here. I, I, you never take here. You don't want. You don't want a queen on there, right? If he drops his bishop in, he takes. I take back. He's not falling for it. Okay, knight in here. What about takes and takes and then knight in here? Ooh. Yeah, look, I'm threatening b3 with a fork. Now, what's he going to do about that? Is he going to take me? If he takes me, I take. I threaten knight. I've got a vulnerable pawn then on there. Or do I take out his knight first? Bishop takes, then I come in attacking not only bishop but threatening that as well. This is a defensive bishop right now, but it may have ideas later on in the game. So this is what I'm toying with, giving up my bishop for his defensive knight. This knight would also love to move, but it can't. Hasn't can't go there, there, there. Um, could go here, but that's just pointless. So if I take bishop recaptures, it means 
he's got light squared weaknesses and I've just given away my light squared bishop. What's the point in that? Um, what about this then? Straight away. If he takes, I take back. I'm hitting this knight. I have a vulnerable pawn here. There, knight takes back. I have to take knight. I could just lose a pawn outright. Hmm. How about rook e8? And push up. I'm going to play this. Just as a waiting move almost. Even this, the, 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 the. Puts my queen in line of a discovery. My opponents play very quickly so far, averaging well under 10 seconds per move. I just took two minutes. Don't want to give up this, but I could. I could just stick my rook there, but it's a bit. That's a very very slow move. There takes takes oh no then I'm attacking his knight aren't I if takes takes I'm attacking his knight so oh but then he then he does take that okay let's say bishop takes now he's attacking this but then I go rook b7 attacking bishop and knight at the same time so I don't think he can afford to do this no I've got two attackers on here it's currently defended three times this knight would now like to move. I don't think he can afford to do this. There, there. Okay, so he's got his knight out of harm's way. Uh, he's got two attacks on here now, so first thought is to trade knights. I don't think he's going to take with deep one, I think he's going to take with bishop. Knights are gone, bishop's there. I take with rook. Bishop takes, knight takes. I'm hitting queen and bishop, but then... Nothing. Well, then queen has to move. Hang on. So let's just think about this. I take with rook. Bishop takes. I take. Pawn takes. Pointless. Okay. I think I just need to take the knight. The situation is here. I've got a pawn that's left its file. What that means is on the plus side I've got a semi-open file. Okay. So bishop's now looking at b7. So I'm inclined to. Well, I've I've also got c5. C5 means the queen defends b7, and it solidifies my centre. It's still very balanced this game. However, if I was to stick my queen on, well, that just blunders the bishop. I'm sure of it. took five or six, eight seconds maybe, and that's it, resignation. Oh man, just a quick move, just a quick move. Right, let's try for one more. But I congratulate myself on a relatively solid game there. Okay, now we have white pieces, opponent is 1473, so higher rated than me right now. We're going Vienna. Isaac Gusht. Okay, let's try Vienna Gambit. 1473s. We still get the Gambit except. Okay, this is on the slow side. Um, I think Knight out here or Bishop out here are fine. Knight's still there, so let's play the Bishop out. He can now take the pawn without the risk of e5, forcing the Knight to move because he's able to capture. If he does take the pawn, I'm going to play probably d3, and I'll probably recapture the pawn with my bishop anyway. 
Knight f3 is a candidate. We had a very interesting uh, session last night, uh, the James's intermediate session. So James takes the kind of 1250 to 1500 roughly rating range session every week. James is currently 1900 rapid. And what we did was we did a, um, a group bot battle where we were focusing on candidate moves. So, I mean, we had people there, you know, from like 800 to up to, I was probably the highest rated. And then, so we would all give our ideas like going up the, up the, the rating ladder and then James would give his views. Very, very interesting way to, to, to work on your chess. Now, takes is a thought. Pawn takes. I might put my knight here, castle. Takes is definitely a thought. Gives me a stronger center. I'm going to do it. I'm going to try it here. I'm attacking the knight. He's going to have to recapture. Um, then I think knight here threatens the pawn. D3 is okay, but I think this is better. You know, I'm gaining control. I'm threatening this pawn. How's he going to defend it? Knight out here, probably. Um, then I might play d3, bring out my bishop maybe to there. Queen e2 castles, long castles maybe. But short castles is also an idea when you've got the semi open f file. Um, I mean, my king's going to be on a dark square. So maybe get my bishop on hit there before he can get his bishop to here. We'll see. Okay, that's one way to defend. D3 is just very natural looking. D4 might even have been a move, but I like having the, the pawn chain. Might come and pin. It's free development. Comes with the threat of a threat. Now, takes, takes. He's got doubled and isolated e pawns. I am too tempted. I'm doing it. Okay. Now I'm thinking. Okay. This pawn's defended only by the bishop. Could come in here, but I'm not going to take the bishop, am I? Because that'll do this. I think it's going to be queen here or here. Just do that. All right, Woods. All right, Woody. So I'm thinking now long castles. This is definitely a liability. In fact, this pawn on e6 is not defended at all. So he's now defended this one twice, but this one's definitely a of vulnerability. So I'm going to castle long. Um, got ideas about h4, h5, h6. I don't, I wouldn't be happy with this as black. Apologise for the Labrador giving it some in the background. Now, if you want to take my knight, be my guest. Knight e2 puts two attackers on it. If he wants to take this one, g takes, and he's got he's now semi-opened his own g file where his king is. Not the smartest move. Very foolish move. Um might just do something just improving now. If, if I move my knight back here, he might be inclined to take that one, which isn't as good for me, because I'd like to take with g, so. Um, 
Rook on open file just makes sense. I come here with my bishop threatening to take, take, take. My rooks are on light squares, he's only got dark square bishop, that's all good. Might start some pawn action at some point. Can I put another attacker on there? I mean put my knight here. Or there. Either way is a very long way. Okay, so what's happened here? It means the queen is now the only defender of that bishop. If I move this knight, I've got... Hmm. Remember, this knight is also pinned. This knight is pinned. Take, pawn takes. He's kind of stopping my knight from advancing. It wasn't planning to anyway. This really does force the issue with that knight, because I'm threatening to take twice and win a pawn. But here, if takes queen there, still well positioned. How important is this knight as a defender? Okay, I'm gonna put I'm just gonna push h4. So nothing kind of bubbled up, so I just thought, okay, let's start in advance. Okay. Rook also defends this knight as well, so there's this knight isn't going anywhere, it's pinned. I'm not going to take him on here. There's no point repairing this pawn structure at all. Unless I can capture twice, which case there is. Oh, hang on. Also, hang on. Takes, pawn takes, push. So maybe I should like put my queen here. I've already moved that rook. Who put queen here? Does that make sense? Oh no, because hang on. Right, he's broken the pin. If I take this knight, I've got this move. Actually attacks the queen immediately. And defends here. He's not thinking of this, is he? Is he thinking aggressively? <sighs> Come on, there's got to be tactics in this. I think he's got queen takes, I'm not too bothered about that. Um, there, there, pawn takes. Attacks queen. She can't go here, here. Can't stay where she is. Can't go there. Could go here, in which case, but then I'm opening up my dark squares. Uh, what's the threat? Bishop here threatens mate. So bishop here I'd have to take. Hmm. But knight back and knight to here. That looks kind of weird, doesn't it? But might just work. Knight? Oh no. What was I thinking? Knight there at least stops the bishop coming in. Bishop comes to here, I can fork. Is that a weird move? Or do I just run away with the king? <laughs> Not really. I'll try this. It means my queen can come up. Join the defence if needed. Oh, 
Oh, this is also an idea. Pin that knight on the queen. Formerly, this knight was pinned on the queen. Could pin that knight. But I'm attacking the queen now. She can go here. So places she can't go. I mean, that's possible. That's out. So it's one of these two, or a treat. If here or here. I might just attack knight. That also defends b2 with queen. Defends b2 three times. Just preparing my candidate moves. So obviously it's dependent on what my opponent does, but my opponent is only likely to do one of a few things. So there I take. There that attacks the knight. So I bring the knight back round, hit the queen again. Okay. Attacks knight. Knight here defends the pawn. Bishop here. Can't really have this square taken away from my knight. This knight back to here again is still a thought. Bringing my bishop back and putting a second attacker on this knight is still a thought. Knight b1. Ah, now that was unexpected. <sighs> so I've got this. Is he going to take out my bishop? Is he trying to get my queen onto there? I don't know. I'm going to play with this knight move, I think. I think it's interesting. It's kind of an outpost to the knight there. I mean, it's not defended by a pawn or anything, but it can't be bothered by a pawn either. It could be bothered by a queen. So if I drop my queen back to d1, that threatens this, losing a knight. So that's a candidate. We should be able to just take this knight, you see. Kind of, this move kind of neutralizes that bishop by taking away this square. completely missed that he was looking at my uh, yeah so this knight move removed the defender of a2 didn't it not used to people coming back at me on this side in the uh, in the Vienna I have to say it's kind of a novelty anyway I've moved back here haven't I but he's playing alright So this is the threat. I'm trying to take his knight with the discovery on this one that's undefended. Okay, now he's defended it. Now I can't come in here with my bishop. You have to be very careful about that. All right, so. Um, knight back? I don't know. 
Well, he has opened up a bit of a gap there, hasn't he? It's a thought, right here. Now we have tension between rooks. Thinking about this as well. It's the undefended bishop. So my pawn movement up there kind of petered out. This this move was, was very nice by Black. It's queen. Queen comes here, I just move back. What about that even? Hit the knight, can't go there, can't go there, can't go there, can't go there. It's a thought. It's a bloody thought, that is. C3 is a thought. I do declare I've had a thought. What's more, now he can't go back there or there or there. Hang on. C3. I think may win a knight. Comes here, I've got two attackers, you see, on that square. I think he's just taken away his only escape. He didn't realise I was thinking about C3. C3 doesn't look very all that clever, does it? Hang on. He's not looking. He's not, no, he's not got that because of Right there, there, there. <sighs> hmm. Highly tactical. Now you have a bit of a problem, Isaac. If I take the knight, it does open up the king, but then... Look how deep he's got his... What? What? Oh! I take rook takes, I take knight. So he didn't take a pawn there, did he? I take knight, so rook takes rook, pawn takes knight. I'm pretty safe. Does repair his pawns, finally. <laughs> He's been wanting to do that for a long time. Hmm. Also, this pawn hangs. It does hang. Right. It's defended by king and knight. If the queen takes her leave and goes over here, this is hanging. This is undefended. That's defended by Queen. Now, so undefended. Undefended. Da, da, da. Undefended. So that's one, two, three undefended things. That's defended only by Queen, defended only by King, and undefended and undefended. That's a lot of dangling. Now, if I take this, is there a follow up attack? Is there something wicked and evil and monstrous that I can do or so one two three four five one two three four five six seven so I'm actually up a p 
peace, aren't I? No, I'm not. I'm, I've got two miners for a rook, is the deal. Now, these knights are doing a decent job of defence. They Knights on opposite colours that defend each other actually control quite a lot of squares. So I'm not too scared. question is, do I go in with this? My bishop's looking a little bit loose end right now. It does free up this, which might free up this. Okay, I think I can afford it. I think I can. Is he going to come in? I've got bishop defending, knight defending. Queen can always come back. Queen comes back. Harry goes up. <sighs> Whose king is the most vulnerable? Tune in to find out. I don't know. Kind of like these knights. So my knights are controlling. Da da. Da da da. Quite a lot of squares. King's controlling these, this, this. Rook's controlling all, all of these. Queen can go here. Going back to d1 is quite logical. Send Harry on his way. Want to dislodge this g-pawn somehow. Okay, I'm not too worried about this. I'm going to drop my queen back here anyway. Without second thought. I'd love to take out this pawn. But how do I do this? Veer. It's not attacking the queen. Okay. Here, takes, takes, queen takes. Seems fine. I've got more pieces than my opponent has. Bishops equal each other out, so it's basically, he's got two rooks and I've got a rook and two knights. Two knights can be a powerful weapon. If this pawn moves, I can force a trade of queens. But that would block off his bishop, he's got no reason to do that. He's down to six minutes. trade off. Not even going to think twice about that right now. Queen here would be nice. My bishop's kind of stuck. Can my bishop even kind of come around? Can't move my knight because that's checkmate. Here. Hurry the rook away. Now that. Queen defends his pawn. He could trade bishops and win the pawn. But then what's defending his king? Ain't no one home. You can get a pawn here, but I have a check. King has to go there or there now. Now, I'm wondering if I can sweep up some pawns here. Check here, comes here. I come there with check, sweep up a pawn. He goes here. I'm less sure. I'd love to take this pawn out and just get my queen back here. Wow, this is... Also, no, the rook is undefended.
Queen here, I'm attacking. Oh no, that one's defended. Hang on. That's not, and that's not. Oh, that is by Rook. Okay. Queen here, I want to take that. I'm looking at. I mean, right now he can't take the, the knight. If he puts his queen here, though. Pinning this knight. He's threatening to take this. I take. Queen takes. Hmm. Woody, need to concentrate, mate. Stop it. <clears throat> That's what I'm concerned about. I could just come here, actually. That's that's fine. Queen comes here, I come here. I'm attacking the rook. Okay. Right, so I'm taking this pawn. He takes this pawn, I can take this one. Okay. Here. No option, really, is there? Queen up, I've got this. Or there. Checks. The knights are defending each other, which is kind of nice. So here, queen back here. There, we can trade queens. See, his rook, even against my two knights, is very strong in the ending. There's loose pawns all over the place, but he's got a king and a queen on the board. What I need to do is remove his ability to give checks, if possible. Okay, I can't take there. If I come here... I could zigzag up. So there's no legal moves. I think that's forced. If he keeps giving check, I can zigzag towards the rook. God, my anxiety levels are so high, I think I would take a draw. <laughs> I think he's slightly better. I've only got three pawns now. But this one hangs. I'm a bit up on the clock. He's 440. I'm just... And, whoa. Here then. Queen's defending this. I'm threatening this. That threatens that. If I come here, <sighs> tense stuff. Goes there, I'm okay. I can probably grab that pawn. Oh, but then he's threatening this. Okay, I think I surely I have to take this. So, what's he got? Queen there doesn't work. Queen there doesn't work. I, th I reckon I have to take that, don't I? I think that was inaccurate by my opponent. I think he probably had more pressuring moves than that. He hasn't got a check with the rook now because Queen takes. I've got maybe a check here of my own. Hangs queen. Did that just happen? <sighs> Say it isn't true. I mean, this guy's played with such grit. And he's just done a hunty on me.
He's ground and ground and ground his way into a winning position. And then just chopped off his own winkle at the last minute. Uninvited and with a blunt rusty knife. But, you know, it happens. Now is he going to stall on me in disgust? No, he's going to play on. I have a check. Potentially another check. This wins a pawn. Then I attack both the other pawns here. Well, this one's hanging anyway. You cannot win, sir. Yield. I could even sack my queen here for the rook and go on to win. Because I know that one knight can take out this pawn. Man. Okay, place your bets on accuracy there. No, I'm not playing again. My heart can't take it. <sighs> Seven two, yeah. Hell's teeth, three blunders. Okay, well, let's see what my blunders were. So we got to this point. Okay. His knight comes in. And this was a blunder. No, I'm not playing you again. This was a blunder. Because it allows what? Is my bishop trapped? My bishop can't go there or there or there or there. Wait, can go to here. So if he, if he does this here, I can just drop back, can't I? Hmm, well, black's winning. Huh, well, okay. Well, I, I quite like that move. I don't know what the fish is talking about. That's not fantastic. That's a mistake. H5. Yeah, that was annoying, that allowing him to do that. Yeah. Inaccurate. Okay, back to the review anyway. So, um, my next blunder, and for my next trick, queen here. And that's a great move. Should go to e5. I guess maybe tying the rook to the defense of this, and then if queen gets there, I've tied everything together. Yeah, I felt like I was in a losing position, and I was. Still queen e5. That's a mistake. Oh. Okay. So let's just look at this end game. Was there anything... That's a blunder mate in a force mate in 11. Yeah, it did kind of feel like that. So I could have blocked with the pawn, but then... This is my worry, is that the queen just... So if I block with the pawn, queen just comes back. And I've got to move anyway. Yeah. And that was a blunder. Oh, I had a fork, man. I had a fork and he's not got any good checks. Ugh. But even so, even with a fork, black's still slightly better. And that, and that just blundered the game. Oh, well, well, well. But, you know, you take it. You win some, you lose some, don't you? I mean, we've all done it. You know I've done it. Now it was his turn to do it. So, yeah, good game. But that's enough chessing for me for one day. I'm done. But at least back to 1463. Quite happy with that. Come on. We can, we can do it. We can build our way to 1500. Okay? And I'll, I'll take a bit of luck when I can get it.
Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you later.